almost as far as the eye could see, left and right, a tide of humanity. Between 10 and 15,000 people had crossed the border in one night. Young and old, hungry, exhausted, traumatized. And for the week, it's a painful journey into exile with the searing heat stinging the skin infection of this child beneath an unrelenting sun. They'd been hiding out for close to a week to avoid detection along the border. This, a first meal without having to watch their backs. A man makes a call to tell relatives he's made it while others, parched and desperate, take their chance with the filthy water all around. Including Minara Begum. She gave birth to a healthy baby boy just hours before crossing into Bangladesh. There's no place for him or the other Rohingya Muslims. I begged God to save us, her husband Mohammed tells me. We hadn't eaten for two days and she went into labor. I don't know what will happen to my baby now. He's so fragile. Giant tented camps built in a matter of days on hillsides freshly stripped of trees. The largest will soon become the biggest refugee camp on earth. This week a boat carrying 60 Rohingya Muslims escaping Myanmar capsized. 14 perished, most of them children. The type of violence that the pe these people have gone through is really 